Hello everyone and welcome to Brittany's Test Kitchen because today we are going to have some fun testing out some new kitchen gadgets and I'm also going to show you my tried and true favorite kitchen gadgets that I've been using for a while. If you are new here, Wednesdays are my more casual vlog style videos. So with all that said, let's jump into these kitchen gadgets. We have to start with my number one favorite essential kitchen gadget for me and that's because I'm a tea addict and it is my Braville tea maker. You could put in loose leaf tea or tea bags and you say what type of tea it is and it will steep it for the appropriate amount of time, move the basket back up, and you have your perfectly brewed tea. I have used and loved this tea maker for many, many years now. This next one that I've loved for years and years is my garlic mincer. If you're a garlic enthusiast, you need this in your life. I think we all know mincing garlic is tough because you have to really get those thin knife cuts. It takes a lot of time. So with this little guy, all you need to do is put your peeled garlic chunk into this and you roll it for like five to 10 seconds and you have perfectly minced garlic. It's also really easy to clean. I love this thing. And you can even get kind of a whip. This next one my mom gave to me and I'm obsessed with it. It is the handy can opener. It's an automatic can opener and I don't know what it is. I always have such issues with regular can openers. Maybe I'm just not strong enough. But this, all you have to do, put it on the lid of the can like so. Press the button. Are we seeing this? And that's it. It just opens the can for you automatically. And I like that it opens it from the side of the lid. So if you want to put the lid back on, it doesn't have that sharp edge. So yes, this is something I use all the time. I love it. I think it's only like 10 bucks. The last one of my tried and true is this mini electric whisk. So you just turn it on and it will foam up whatever you have going. So you can see here, it did froth up this coconut milk a little bit. With regular milk, it will really froth it up. And if you do like making your own lattes and cappuccinos and stuff like that, this thing is really handy. All right, now for the fun part. We're gonna test some new kitchen gadgets that I came across on Amazon that looked very intriguing. This first one is called the Salad Cutter Bowl. So the concept here is that you put all of your salad ingredients into this slotted bowl, which is actually convenient because you can rinse off the ingredients in the bowl. Then you put the lid on top, like so. You flip it, you cut in between these grooves and it's supposed to give you a perfectly chopped salad. I'm trying to film this casually. My mom says this. She thinks Carter says ma, ma. I have an, a studio audience here, by the way. Hi, baby. So we have our salad ingredients in here. We have some lettuce, chunks of apple, a big chunk of cucumber, some chunks of carrot. Turn it over, get our knife, and then we start making cuts. Okay, I mean, it's definitely cutting. It's cutting. All right, this might work. And then it says to rotate, take the lid and rotate it, and then chop again. <gasps> it's chopped! Whoa! We have a chopped salad. We have our apples chopped. I mean, is it even? Kind of. Look, even our cucumber salad cutter bowl, I doubted you, but now I'm a believer. All right, up next, I thought this looked quite intriguing. It's called the Bin 8 Tool Kitchen Tool-like Bottle. And the concept here is that this comes apart and there's eight different tools in one. So we have a funnel, squeezer, seasoning grinder, egg pulverizer, cheese grinder, bottle opener, utensil for taking yolk, and a measuring cup. I'm obviously not gonna test all of these because that would take forever. So first we're gonna test this, which is supposed to be a bottle opener. It's made out of silicone that's nice and grippy that you put around the edge of the bottle. And let's see, that worked. Now we're going to test the egg yolk separator portion. Wait, yes. It worked. All right, you can see here we have our yolk separated from the egg whites. So overall, 
we like. So it would take way too much time to go through and test every one of these eight tools, but the two that I tested, I really liked, and I like the concept of this because it's a big space saver. So this gets a thumbs up. Up next is a twin vegetable chopper and blender. So you put whatever in the bottom here, and then you pull the string, and it's supposed to chop and blend for you. So I love the idea of this. Now let's see if it works. So on one side, I'm gonna put the blender attachment. On one side, I'm gonna put the chopper. We're gonna put our egg white and yolk on the blender side. And then over on the chopper side, we're gonna make some homemade guacamole with avocado, a little bit of red onion, and garlic, and see how it chops all of that together. We pull the lever. It's definitely easy. How many times do I do it? This looks good. So we have our guacamole, it all looks nice and finely chopped and then our blended egg over on this side. I have to say, I was not expecting to like these so much, but this almost reminds me of just like a manual food processor. I did save the best for last. This is what I'm the most excited about. If it works, it will be a game changer. A one step corn kerneler. So the concept here is that you slide this down the corn, it looks like a little plastic donut, and it collects the corn inside of it. Really hope this works. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, it's not that hard to push. I hear something happening. Okay, <gasps> something's happening. All right, this looks wrong, hold on. All right, let's see what we're left with here. <gasps> we have corn, we have shucked corn. We have kerneled corn here. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's called a corn stripper. Hold on, let's just take a moment here. <gasps> Look at this beautiful corn that came off of there. You guys, I really was not expecting that all of these were gonna work. I thought for sure most of them were gonna fail. So excited about this. I normally don't eat corn on the cob because it just gets stuck in my teeth and it makes a huge mess. So this thing freaking works. Granted, I will say, it was not the easiest thing to use. I probably will have Ryan do it for me in the future. Also, what I recommend you do, which I should have done, was cut off the end so it's more stable than this one was. Today was a big success. I was not expecting that. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite kitchen gadget? Also leave a link to it if you can find it because I want to check out some more. Maybe if you guys like this, give it a thumbs up and I will do another version of this in the future. In the meantime, I'm gonna eat all of this delicious food that I made. I know what I'm getting my friends and family for Christmas this year, a corn stripper.